news network. Um, I'm reporting from London. It's going to be a daily blog, and what it's going to be about, it's going to be about this, which is the Metro. The Metro. So what this is, this is a free newspaper that comes out. Uh, you get up on the train. Metro, hence called Metro. Free, and it's the world's most popular free newspaper. So the reason I picked it, excuse me while I smoke, I've been doing this for ages and the videos are not uploading so we're having to go live now. So the, the, the reason I picked it is because it's a free paper. So if it's free, you think, it's going to be the best mind control propaganda going because it's free. Do they really care about uh, me making informed decisions? Do they care about me making the right decisions, being well informed? Or do they just want to make me feel bad about myself? And sell me stuff. Let's have a look. So the first one is you've got the Star Wars story and as soon as I saw it I knew straight away it's all gonna be about um, diversity and how we need a black James Bond that that fell through the roof so if we don't get the black James Bond uh, we need a female James Bond and the reason why Star Wars is an important thing to look at is if you look at the original Star Wars with Luke Skywalker um, it was a battle he was having within his inner self that he was never sure about himself he never thought he, he was going to be a Jedi and he has to go through his inner struggles has to train and train and train to get better and better and better and get past life hurdles you know becoming a better person self improvement he wants to give up all the time he doesn't give up he has to do the blindfold and he's trying to do the Jedi train and he can't do it but as soon as the woman turns up on the scene I mean all she has to do is all she has to do is basically do this she just goes and the skills come to her. She doesn't have to do any training, you know, years of self improvement, having the doubt, going over hurdles. She just does this. The force comes to her, and automatically she's a Jedi fighter. Nothing like Luke Skywalker had to go through all the battles with himself. And that was what it's about. The film was about, you know, if you just believe in yourself, you know, you can, you can do anything. And now, they, now they're saying there's not enough diversity. And this continues here at the BBC Jam that they've released how much BBC people get paid and you know the women aren't being paid enough even though they get paid more in a year than what I've earned in my life and then like I said they've got to sell me shit so unhealthy food just right there and then also they just this is about how police spy cameras on the helicopter we call them bumblebees because they look like bumblebees and about how you know these perverts basically have privacy these people are having sex outdoors people are sunbathing nude but somehow um, yeah, they they deserve um, some kind of privacy or something. So we're going to move on. The next story is how smart Theresa May is, how clever she is. But the next story below is man who wrote blueprints. Sorry, man who wrote blueprints for Brexit says it should be halted. So again, you know, the man's the idiot, but you know, Theresa May she's a woman. How could she possibly be an idiot? You get it here. Ronaldo's an idiot. He's going to be. <coughs> who's going to be a dad but you know how can a man let alone a footballer possibly change a fucking nappy I mean really I mean, everyone's asking that question and then on the other side of the hair you've got how these women are broken up with their uh, partners and how it's never been better you know they can just go on they can just go into town now you know have any kind of relationship they want they're free you know fuck the family who wants a family right they're dumb uh, that's move on. This is a new story in itself. Uh, the woman who got shot dead by the Somali, Somalian police officer. So just imagine this was a white cop shooting a black woman who was like a yoga teacher wearing her pyjamas. Shit would be torn up. Black life matters everywhere. Somalian Muslim refugee cop does it. He had multiple complaints that this was going to happen at some point. Still got the job. Still on the beat. Predictions came true. She's dead. Look at this cute girl. She's a sweetie. Now she's gone. You're not going to see a single right about it. You're not going to see nothing. Attack piece on Trump. You're always going to get that. And just what I was talking about earlier. Um, BBC reveals its top earners, but only a third are women. Only a third. This is not even a free market system, this TV crap. 
uh, they send you letters threatening for court action if you don't pay if you watch it or not. So it's not as if people are choosing to even pay this money for salary. It's not even worth that money. It's not the reason people are paying it's because Granny's scared of going to jail. So you know they only earn eight hundred grand or whatever. Not enough money. I need earn eight hundred grand in my life, let alone in a year. And then you've got models' pics were stolen forty three times by catfishers. This is Tinder. And Tinder's a, an app where you find sexual partners. So men <laughs> stole this guy's picture, and who wouldn't? Look at him. It's a hunk, sexy guy. Nice, sexy guy. He's got a dog. He's got a dog. You're going to get Tinder all day. You're going to be getting sex all day with that. So men stole his profile pic. And because it's like a pickup site, women send these men like pictures of their boobs and, you know, masturbating. And then when they find out it's not the, that's not who they sent it to, they sent it to someone who looks like me. Like my little perfy face, my little skinny body. Oh, now it's a crime, and hey, you know, it's catfishing. But looking for these kind of men just to have sex with who look just got perfect bodies, that's the way you should pick a relationship. And if men take advantage of that, it's men who are wrong. It's not women who should be looking for, you know, you know, a husband who, or a relationship with someone they like, they're friends with, they have common uh, beliefs, uh, they have similar values. No, 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 no. Six pack. That's all that matters. And if you cheat and lie to women and tell them you've got a six pack or I'm six foot tall, tall, dark and handsome, you know, I need to be thrown in jail. Oh, damn. And carries, carries on, you've got uh, the pussycat doll. She's having some kind of affair. It's not a good relationship. It's advertising how cool it is. She's jerking him off. This relationship's gone wrong. How cool it is. None of this is celebrating men and women being together. Everything is relationships falling apart. And how to just be promiscuous. Skip that. These are letters you get. I'm not doing that today. Attack on Trump. This don't even know this. Don't even know who he is. It's like Trump's evil. How do we get Trump in here? I mean, I'm a comedian. Everyone should listen to me. He says, and if he's speaking in a way that's rude about Mexicans or women, it sets an example, and people think we're allowed to say whatever we want. We've developed politeness over so long, and we're at risk of chucking it away. I'm not even going there, but you compare that to what women are like in the UK. I mean, you don't need men attacking you. You got this poor German G Halley Pride 16s captured in ruins of Mosul. This poor girl who friggin' joined ISIS. She joined ISIS. And it's the war on Daesh. What the fuck is Daesh? What the fuck is Daesh? If it says war on Daesh, I already know it's some kind of mind control propaganda because they don't want to call it ISIS. They don't want to call it Islamic State. No, it's Daesh. It's like war on terror. What are we having a war on? War on Daesh? Oh, do you know what Daesh? I've got no idea. Men are evil. I told you, men are fuck evil. <sighs> I couldn't sit down and breastfeed. It wasn't long ago that breastfeeding was evil. I know it's anti-family, but I'm glad you're promoting breastfeeding. It's great for the kid. Yeah, it's good bonding with the mum. But, you know, men are evil. They're not allowing it to happen. I've got the hijab groper tweets. I'm innocent. I will stop an attack. Fake news, didn't even happen. And the other thing is, this is a fucked up story, it's fucked. Hijab, hijab, oh, oh tongue twisters. That's been in British press, they like their tongue twisters. Hijab grabber tweets, I am innocent, I will stop an attack. So it's like, women's rights meets Islam. And it's like, Where's the women's rights and wearing a hijab in the first place? I'm not saying she put it off, but it didn't even happen. It was a fake story. It doesn't mention that it was actually a fake story. But then, you know, women aren't treated fairly, but yet you look at the business, it's all women. Women. Now, if you don't know, women make all the financial decisions in the households. So I'm not surprised to see a woman, you know, when it's talking about credit card charges, because they're probably ones that actually pay the bills now, pick the car, pick the kitchen, pick which house they're going to buy. You know, fair enough, men might earn the money. But women are definitely spending it, but, you know, that's... And for, again, it's women that are about the education for children. There's no men there. Women here. Women on a friggin' front page, you know, front of a... Well, it's not on the front, is it? Printed on their bank note. The only stuff the Metro can get right sports. That's why they put it in there. Because you could doubt 9-11. You can doubt 7-7. You can doubt the refugee crisis. You can't, you can't deny Arsenal beat Southampton 1-0. So most of it's just sports. Sport. General crap. 
I'm not going to get much in this. And I think this is really pretty much it. It's going to be 100 enough for 100 things that come up. But again, it's not celebrating successful relationships. It's not celebrating man and women working together. It's always woman versus man. Woman versus man. White people are bad. Women aren't getting paid enough. Trump's racist. This is fine. Don't write about it. It's Somalian. Gotta let them off. Anyway, I'm pissed. Teleprompter free, folks. Sorry it's not what we expected, but this is going to be daily. And you're going to see how bad this paper gets. And it really triggered home with me when they had the article on Will Smith and his wife. And it was promoting how they have an open relationship and how they can screw other people. And how that basically, that is the success to relationships. It's not. It's a lie. This is propaganda. It's not the London Metro. It's the UK anti-hetero. New World News Network, this is Peter Levi. Thank you so much. And hopefully Jamie's going to pick up his version of the free newspaper in New York City, Washington, or Miami, wherever the fuck he is in America. And you're going to see exactly the same thing. All right, God bless you all. Thanks.